Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to cover everything new coming to Unreal Engine 5.5. At Unreal Fest 2024, Epic Games revealed Unreal Engine 5.5 along with a ton of new features. And in this video, we will be covering all of the new features in Unreal Engine 5.5 as well as the release date for 5.5. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to learn when it will be released. Also, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing as I will be covering over each of these features individually in depth in separate videos here on the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first biggest new feature that was announced in Unreal Engine 5.5 was called Mega Lights. Essentially, Mega Lights is a brand new lighting system that allows you to add tons of lights into your scene. At Unreal Fest, they showcased this Mega Lights demo, which showcased this marketplace scene with the Echo character. First, they showcased that you can have textured light areas. So basically, you can see these screens with videos playing on them. The texture is actually casting lights and illuminating the environment in real time. Then the demo showcased a marketplace that shows all the lights for the shops. It first showed them all without any shadows being casted and the scene looks really flat but then they enabled the shadows for all the lights in the scene and as you can see it brings to life all the shadows and it looks amazing. With mega lights you can essentially have as many lights in your scene and they even show the density of the lights and you can see that there's no limitation with mega lights. Next up they showcased over 1,000 individual shadow casting light sources all movable dynamic in the scene so you can see all the different screens casting their own lights and if you're wondering about performance they basically mentioned that this whole demo is being run live off the of PlayStation 5. Anyways mega lights are currently experimental in Unreal Engine 5.0 5, so you can actually check it out right now. I actually had the chance of attending Unreal Fest this year and I was able to check out the Mega Lights booth to see the demo being run and talk with the devs that designed it. And I'll be making a separate video about Mega Lights, all the features and the demo as well. So if you guys want to see more, make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that video. Also, they mentioned that they will release this Mega Lights demo project sometime at the end of this year so we can get our hands on it and check it out. The next biggest feature in Unreal Engine 5.5 is Nanite Skeletal Meshes. Nanite was introduced with the release of Unreal Engine 5.0. And if you don't know what Nanite is, basically it is a dynamic LOD system, which allows you to have highly detailed 3D models with insane amount of detail and quality. In Unreal Engine 5.0, it was limited to first only static meshes, so meshes that didn't deform or move in any way, but they have since added Nanite support for things like foliage that moves and animates in Unreal Engine 5.1. But now in Unreal Engine 5.5, they're fully supporting Nanite on skeletal meshes, which means that you can now have very high detailed characters using Nanite to optimize the characters in your scene. They showcase, for example, the scene with hundreds of characters all animated using Nanite skeletal meshes. You can also use Nanite skeletal meshes for things like metahumans, so you can have really detailed character models and you can have hundreds of these characters in your scene without any issues. You can have crowds of hundreds of characters using Nanite skeletal meshes to populate your world. The next biggest feature added in Unreal Engine 5.5 is a new mutable plugin, which is a character customized plugin that is built into the engine. Basically, it has simple logic that allows you to, when you equip a helmet on your character, it will hide the hair mesh on that character. It also has logic for procedurally tucking in pants into boots, hiding parts of layered clothing so that if your character puts on something like a jacket, it will hide the shirt underneath and vice versa. That will just prevent things like the mesh flickering if you have you know, two different meshes shown at the same time. This mutable plugin also has the ability to merge mesh sections and textures to reduce draw calls and everything in the plugin is programmed using a simple graph similar to Blueprint. The new mutable plugin will ship in beta in Unreal Engine 5.5 along with the content sample project. And this is just another amazing new feature that allows you to have fully customizable characters. In other news in Unreal Engine 5.5, this news was actually not mentioned or featured at the keynote, but was in a separate talk at Unreal Fest. Basically, the game animation sample pack or the motion matching sample project is now replicated out of the box in Unreal Engine 5.5. Basically, this means that it is now supported for multiplayer, which is huge. Also, they're adding new improvements to the game animation sample project, and they will continue to update it in the future. We can expect that the new updated sample project will be released when Unreal Engine 5.5 is released. Another new feature being introduced in Unreal Engine 5.5 is a new Chaos Modular Vehicles plugin. This is a new experimental plugin that allows you to add real time vehicle construction, allowing you to add components like this plane wing to this car dynamically at runtime. 
Also in Unreal Engine 5.5, there is a new plugin introduced called the Day Sequence Plugin. Basically, this is a fully built in day and night cycle that comes built into the engine in a form of a plugin. You can enable it with a click of the button and it will add a simple day and night cycle to your scene or game. So as you can see here, you can change the time of day. When the sun goes down, you can actually see the moon. And this feature wasn't showcased at the keynote at Unreal Fest, but also in a separate talk. And I'll be making separate videos about this topic. So again, stay tuned for that. These are basically all of the new features in Unreal Engine 5.5. In other news, Epic is really pushing people to publish the games on all platforms, mobile, console, and PC. And in recent news, they since re-released Fortnite on mobile, and they went ahead and had to update the mobile side of Unreal Engine. And in Unreal Engine 5.5, there are a bunch of new improvements to mobile game development, including new mobile previews. Basically, the mobile preview allows you to preview what the game will look like on that specific device, simulating things like the graphics settings, the resolution, and UI. They also updated and further optimized Unreal Engine running on mobile devices. It just seems that they are really pushing for the mobile development side of things. Anyways, you guys are probably wondering when does Unreal Engine 5.5 release and when can you expect to get your hands on Unreal Engine 5.5? Well, they actually announced and released Unreal Engine 5.5 Preview 1, which is basically like the beta version or early access version of 5.5. So if you head over to the Epic Games launcher, you can actually download Unreal Engine 5.5 Preview 1 and start playing around and checking out the new features that I mentioned in this video. As for the official release for Unreal Engine 5.5, it is set to be released sometime in November, and they even mention the next release for Unreal Engine 5.6 to be next spring. Now, obviously, this is not every single new feature in Unreal Engine 5.5. There's actually a lot of other things that are being introduced. These are just all the big major features that are coming, and I'm going to make a separate video going over every single feature and update coming to Unreal Engine 5.5. In fact, they just released the public roadmap, so you can check it all out. Or just stay tuned for my video summarizing the Unreal Engine roadmap and every single new feature update. Also, I will be making separate videos showcasing each of the new features in Unreal Engine 5.5, things like Megalites, the new day night cycle, the mutable character plugin, and much more. So make sure that you are subscribed because you don't want to miss out on those videos. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and comment down below which feature you are excited most about in Unreal Engine 5.5. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.